In this video, I'm going to show you how to cast on to the Dean and Beans 2.0 sock machine. And I'm first going to show you how to do it with a setup bonnet with split rings. And then at the end, I'll show you how just to use a scrap tube of knitting. This is very straightforward. You just drop the setup bonnet down into the tube and then starting usually just past the yarn feeder, you put one split ring on every other needle. And you just go all the way around. As you're going around, keep an eye out. You wanna make sure that all of the latches are open, not only on the needles you're hanging, but the other needles as well. All of my needles that are easily available now have split rings added and I'm going to turn the crank handle until the first needle with a split ring is just before the break in the yarn feeder. Next, I will load my yarn into the yarn mast and then lay it through the yarn feeder. There's a whole separate video on how to load the yarn mast and the yarn feeder. And drop in a one and a half pound weight, your medium weight, and start cranking slowly just to make sure that each needle is catching. If when you're casting on your cylinder won't turn, it's likely because you have a split ring caught on a needle. So as the needles travel here under the yarn feeder, the split ring needs to drop below the latch, which usually it does very naturally, no problem. But sometimes on the very first couple of stitches, it might catch and then your cylinder won't turn. So the best thing to do then is just take it off, let it skip that stitch completely. Oops. Let it skip that stitch and then you can either hand knit it or catch it on the next time around. And after you've gone just a little ways, you'll be able to add the rest of the split rings. And then I usually give a little tug on that end of that yarn, trying to cinch up that opening. Continue to crank around for one until you've done one full row and then stop and make sure that everything looks good. So every needle should have a yarn on it. If you have a needle where the split rings caught but the yarn in the middle didn't, you can just use your loom tool to pick up the loop and pull it back over the needle. If one of your split rings didn't catch at all, you can fix that with your latch tool. So you'll go up under the yarn and then into the split ring, push the latch tool forward until the split ring is below the latch and then pull the yarn forward so that it catches in the front part of the latch tool. Pull it through to get the loop of yarn and place it over the needle. Make sure that the needle latch is open. From here, you can just keep cranking and you're ready to go. Before we wrap up though, I did wanna show you how to cast on if you just have a, a scrap tube of fabric. And this could be a tube you've cranked. I have about 100 rows here, and then just a loose tube, and I tied the end, just wrapped the yarn around and around and tied it in a knot to make a pouch. And you could also, if you didn't have a, a scrap tube, you could use an old sock or an old sleeve of a sweater, for example and you fold it over and you'll drop it in the center of the cylinder and then you can pick up each of the, it doesn't matter where, just pick up loops and hang them on and I'll show you how to do that next. So you can see here I've dropped my scrap tube down into the cylinder and I'm just using the loom tool to pick up one loop at a time. This part's more art than science, it doesn't really matter. You're just hanging a loop on every other needle. Make sure you're not working too closely to the very edge 
of your scrap knitting because it will unravel. Uh, but you just continue all the way around the circle and then all of the other steps are exactly like using a setup on it. I hope that helps and you're now all set to be casting on to your Dean and Bean sock machine. Happy knitting! Visit us at deanandbean.com and please like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.